This week we're talking about being gentle. Yesterday we talked about, or uh, last time we talked about being gentle with animals, right? Today I want to talk about being gentle with little children, okay? Little children are easily hurt. Mm -hmm, they are. They're not tough like you. So what do you need to do? When you're playing with little children, be very, very careful, especially babies. Their head's kind of soft. It's, their bones aren't all formed, right? Okay, so be very, very careful. If you're pushing a little child in a stroller, should you run real fast? No, because you might trip, you might hit a rock, and the stroller goes tumbling and the baby falls out, right? Mm -hmm. If you're playing games, what do you need to do? Be very, very gentle. Don't put your babies up on high spots where they could fall off, right? Um, one time... I was out, and Mr. Mark was home with our boys when they were real small. And when I came home, I went into the boys' room to see how they were doing. And here was the baby up on the top bed, way, way up high. His little brother had put him there, and Daddy didn't know it. I put a little baby up on the big top, way up high in the bed. No. Right? Nah, you don't put things out. Okay, so be careful where you where you let babies be. Be careful with them around the animals, okay, that they can't hurt. Mm -hmm. When my mom was little, just a real little girl, her primo, her cousin, was pushing her on a swing, okay? And she was just maybe three or two or three years old. But he decided he was going to make her go really high and scare her, right? She was holding on, but he decided he was going to push her really, really high. She fell off. She got hurt. Not really, really bad, but because she was little, it hurt her back. And you know what? When she was grown up, she still had problems with her back. The whole time I was growing up, my mama had back problems. Oh, if you didn't know any better, you would know, but she always had pain in her back. And she walked a little funny because her cousin pushed her real high on a swing when she was just a very little, little girl. And nobody knew that there was any problem with her. Okay, she cried, and after that it was fine. But they didn't take her to a doctor, then nobody got her checked out, right? I don't even know if her cousin told her mama. Okay, but what do you need to do? Be very careful with, with children, okay? Be kind to them. Don't be real noisy around them. It scares them. But you can play with little children, can't you? Mommies are very, very busy. So if you can help out a big person who has a baby, and you can play with that baby, but be very gentle with it, and don't take it places where it shouldn't go or do dangerous things with it, you can be the biggest, biggest, biggest help, right? You just have to be scare careful because sometimes babies get scared. Sometimes I scare babies. They look at me and they see, who, who's that white, that lady with the white face? Scares them. Um, but what do you need to do? Just be very, very calm. Don't go fast around them because you might knock, over, knock them over. If you're moving really fast, it, it might confuse them. You might accidentally knock them over. But a good place to play with them is sitting on the floor. Just put them on the floor and you can play, you can play with a ball because they don't fall that way, right? Or you can help them to walk. Okay, hold their hands, right? Be careful with them, but don't ever pick them up by their arms, okay? Don't pick them up by their arms because you can hurt their shoulders, okay? But if you can be a helper with a little one, <gasps> that would be such a good, good help, right? Be kind, be gentle, and be a, and happy, right? <gasps> Babies love happy things, right? Mm -hmm. They like books. You can tell them stories and show them, play with them with toys, right? Just be careful. And be careful. Don't give them things that they might put in their mouth, okay? Don't give them little things because little things they can put in their mouth. When a little girl in our school, when she was a baby, her mama let her play with something very small. It got stuck in her throat and they had to take her on over to Saba to a hospital that got stuck in her throat and she almost died because she couldn't breathe. 
they couldn't get it out, okay? So if you're with babies, don't give them anything that they can put in their mouth. Now, some things they chew on, like, you know, they'll chew on big things, but don't give them little things like little beads, anything they can go in their mouth and get stuck in their mouth, right? Ah. Mm -mm. Little toys. Mm -mm. Make sure you give them big things to play with, right? Because babies like to chew on things. That's how they learn about things. They put everything in their mouth, okay? So just make sure it's not a little thing or a thing like pencils, things that are sharp that they could get hurt because they don't know any better, right? But be very, very gentle and be a good helper.